Hi guys, welcome to the Fast Track series for RBI Grade B 2018. It is a video series which has been brought to you by EduTap. So let me just quickly tell you about this series. Here we are aiming to cover the current affairs from May 2018 to August 15, 2018 and also the ESI and FM concepts would be covered through MCQs alternatively. So here you can see about our previous results as we have been working in this particular field from some time now and 124 edutapians last year could reach the interview stage and 27 could make it to final list So here are the various courses which are offered by edutap now these courses are particularly related to RBI grade B and you can choose from any of these courses along your suitability as MRP is also mentioned here and we are also offering the other courses which are not uh, mentioned here so presently we are running the discount of 30% and you have to use the coupon code flash30 to avail the discount So in this particular video we are going to cover the news for phase 1 exclusively from july 21st till july 31st let us move on to the first news of the day so our first news is related to the five oil psus let us quickly see the name of these five oil psus that is iucl ongc gale oil and nrl so these have signed an agreement for executing the northeast natural gas pipeline grid so since it is related to northeast and it is covered under the urja ganga gas pipeline project so it becomes important for us to note down this and secondly for the implementation of this particular project a joint venture company will be formed to develop build operate and maintain the natural gas which is going to connect guwahati to major other northeastern cities now apart from these uh, joint ventures let us now see about this urja ganga gas project so uh, this gas pipeline project was launched in october 2016 and uh, it is aimed at providing piped cooking gas to the residents of eastern region now here particularly five states are important for us uh, where this project is going to be implemented these are up bihar jharkhand west bengal and odisha and secondly the most important thing here is to note down that apart from jv which we have seen the project this particular urja ganga gas pipeline is going to be implemented by the state run gas utility that is gale so that was all about this news okay so our second news is about the 2 plus 2 dialog since this dialog has been recently laid so it is important for us to note down now this dialog is going to take place in the coming september that is in september 2018 in new delhi so in the capital of country 2 plus 2 dialog is going to take place now uh, this is also important because this has been postponed uh, earlier so now it is finally going to take place and about telling you about this dialog it is a meet of the defense and foreign ministers along with the secretaries with usa so uh, here here you can see it is on the lines of 2 plus 2 dialogue of india and japan so that was all moving on so our next news is government launches student police cadet program Now see this cadet program of a student and police has been launched nationwide in a gurugram so this uh, gurugram haryana is important for us and secondly the aim of this particular program is to bridge the gap between pool police and the larger community that is to make people more friendly with the police and for this particular uh, program the bureau of police research and development has developed a handbook Uh, with the support of ncert so you can see the immense efforts put in for this particular program here the program will focus on the students of class 8 and 9 particularly and uh, this will make sure that the workload of the students is not increased which is very important again so yes that was all just uh, the place and the program uh, is uh, remembered So Odisha police launches drive to burst pangolin smuggling racket. Now since pangolin is an endangered mammal, so this is important for us. Uh, here you can see it is an endangered uh, mammal and secondly it's the world's most illegally traded mammal. 
so this mlat that is mutual legal assistance treaty is important because uh, through this uh, the union home ministry has approached myanmar to block the uh, transit route for the smuggled pangolin now pangolin is uh, here you can see in the picture it's the only scaled mammal you can see the scales over here and uh, sites as you must have known about it's a un convention it's the most illegally traded vertebrate within within its class as we have seen earlier also so that was all about pangolin and yes uh, the launch has been done by odisha police so that is also important for us to remember okay another important news is trade will now this trade will is uh, uh, an online tool to help people to cope with issues related to their mental health which includes stress low mood lethargy even depressive symptoms so that is why this trade will is important and secondly it has been launched by iit kanpur so these are the two important Uh, takeaways from this particular news you can anyway read about this particular online tool here moving on so pm launches india assistant emergency ambulance in sri lanka so now since india has assist assisted in the launch of this particular emergency service so this is important and secondly it was introduced earlier in two provinces now it has been uh, expanded to the remaining provinces as well and uh, india is the largest grant in the housing projects to sri lanka and now it is the second service after housing is this particular emergency ambulance service so here you need to know that to which country india is providing its assistance for the emergency ambulance as well as the housing project so it's about uh, another ga section uses regional rail training institute so this particular institute has been inaugurated at gazipur uttar pradesh so the place becomes important for us to remember and secondly this rrt uh, particular institute is to strengthen the expertise and capabilities of the employees of northeastern railways so uh, you can read about these institutes here uh, yes that would be all about this particular news okay so ncrt to introduce qr code in textbooks so uh, since another step in the uh, digital revolution in our country so now ncrt is going to introduce the qr code that is the quick response code uh, in the textbook so that which will be linked if you scan the code the student will be taken to a new link where the chapter will be explained with the new presentations so they are aiming to uh, map the content from class 1 to 12 okay so that is important and obviously it is going to come up from the next academic session that is 2019 since ncrt has just planned it so they are going to take time for this and thus it will be launched in the next session so myanmar joins isa that is international solar alliance now this isa is particularly important since india is one of its founding members so myanmar has joined this isa and you can read about isa here it was launched jointly by indian prime minister and french president francois hollande so these two important personalities have launched this isa it aims to undertake the joint efforts and through this here usd 1000 billion of investment is going to be uh, taken up in this project by 2030 So yes that was it you can read about ISA more and uh, just post in the comment section any useful information you find Okay so our next news is related to a very important yojana that is Sukanya Samriddhi yojana So I'll tell you about this yojana in the next slide in detail let us just see what this news relates to So now the government has cut the minimum annual deposit which is uh, rupees 250 earlier it was rupees 1000 and now it is it has been made rupees 250 So now to avail the benefits only rupees 250 can be maintained in a girls account So let me just tell you about this yojana in detail So here is Sukanya Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana. It is basically a small savings scheme and was launched under Beti Bachao Beti Padhao in 2015. So here in this particular yojana, parents are encouraged to open the account in the name of the girl child so that uh, the expenses for her education and marriages can be met easily. Here the account can be opened in post office or even commercial banks. So the deposits can be made up to like 14 years from the date of the opening of the account 
so now the minimum benefit has been uh, deposited has been made rupees 250 which was earlier 1000 and the maximum is rupees 1.50 lakh yearly basis so now the girl child in the particular theme about this is the girl child can withdraw rupee uh, up to 50 percent of the money after reaching the age of 18 for her higher education and the amount which is deposited has no income tax on it and the interest rate will be 9.1 percent the account will remain functioning till the girl reaches the age of 21 so after that it will be the normal account and no uh, income tax incentives and the interest rate high could be given uh, so you can read about sukanya samriddhi yojana here in this particular slide more Okay, so our next news is related to the India-Bangladesh Joint Committee on Border Hearts. So these border hearts are, are basically the small rural markets which are to be organized on the border areas so that the people who are living uh, near these areas are able to uh, promote their well-being and their dwelling and they have more employment opportunities through these markets. So the first meeting of the India-Bangladesh Joint Committee has taken place in Agartala, that is the capital of Tripura. And these markets aim, uh, as I just told you, about the well-being of the people. And uh, yes, that would be it. So our uh, next news is related to the tribals, that is the first ever tribal atlas of Odisha released. So the first ever tribal atlas has been released from Odisha. And secondly, I w let me just tell you that as per the census of 2011, that is the recent census, Odisha has the second highest tribal population in the country and the highest population of tribal reside in Madhya Pradesh. So these are the two important facts you need to know. Now coming to the atlas again, this particular first of its kind compilation has been published by SCNST Research and Training Institute in collaboration with the Academy of Tribal Language and Culture. So these two important organizations who are responsible for this uh, making of this atlas and secondly it has been released by the government of Odisha. Now let us move to the next news. So the government has formed GOM, that is the group of ministers and committee to frame laws against lynching. So now after the Supreme Court has come up with saying such acts as the horrendous acts of mobocracy, that is the, the perversion of democracy has taken place. So now the government has created a group of ministers, which is to be headed by the Home Minister Rajnath Singh and the high level committee is to be headed by the secretary Rajiv Gobba. So these are the two important names for you to remember from this particular news so that they can uh, now these two particular uh, uh, ministry group as well as the committee will give the suggestions for the legal framework to deal with the cases of the mob lynching so Rajiv Gobba and Rajnath Singh are important moving on okay so another important news related to the resolution of NPAs now the banks and financial institutions have signed this intercreditor agreement so uh, that the resolution of NPAs can be uh, taken quickly under the if the assets are rupees uh, rupees more than 50 crore or rupees 50 crore so now this has been signed by various banks and private sector banks also now this particular framework of ICA is under project Sashakt so this project Sashakt is important which is related to the resolution of NPAs particularly now this will be applicable as I've told you about the amount limit and so another step taken by the government for the um, uh, strengthening uh, of our economy and uh, taking the menace of NPA out. Okay, so another news related to the CSR that is your corporate social responsibility. Now the NCF that is National Culture Fund has received rupees 904.80 lakh as a part of CSR. Such a huge amount that is why it has come here. So now in the past three years such a huge amount was donated to NCF. Now see uh, uh, telling you about this NCF it's a trust and it is under the Ministry of Culture and it was basically for uh, uh, established to mobilize the extra resources through PPP that is public private partnership. Now important thing here is the donations or contributions are eligible for 100% tax deductions under the Income Tax Act. So that is why this is important for us to note down. Okay, so our next news is related to a multinational exercise. So this Pitch Black 18 here it, ha it has been organized in Australia and it's a multinational exercise where 
Indian Air Force has for the first time taken part. So that is why this is important. Now this PB-18 has been hosted by Royal Australian Air Force and being India uh, the first participant ever. So this is important for us to note down. Moving on. Now Earth Overshoot Day, yes, this is now very important related to our sustainable development. Now this day is to fall on August 1 as calculated by Global Footprint Network and the World Wildlife Fund for Nature. Now see telling you about this Overshoot Day, let me just tell you that it's the day uh, which is calculated according to which the demand of the humanity increases the ability of the earth to regenerate so as sustainable development is all about uh, being in consonance with your nature so this is the day when our demands have already existed the regeneration power of the earth now this is very important it is august 1 this year so telling you about global footprint network it's an international non-profit organization and all people have the they basically want a sustainable future where all people have the opportunity to thrive within the means of one planet so these are the two important organizations you keep you need to keep in mind and the earth overshoot day as well so invest india and business france have signed mou to promote investment now this investment india is basically a national investment promotion agency which is mandated to promote investment in our country so now they have signed an mou for the cooperation uh, between the startups of these two countries of india and france so uh, this is important like with which country has india uh, uh, signed this mou and secondly just telling you about the support services which are offered by invest india here you can see that from the location identification to the various problems which are uh, faced by investors invest india is mandated to help the investor in all such streams so uh, that was all you can read about invest india more and if any information useful you find just post in the comment section below okay so another important news is related to the global optimism index here according to this index india has ranked sixth now see uh, this is important as it has been released by a global uh, business survey it is grant thornton's international business report now this is important and the rank of india is also important and secondly it has been topped by indonesia that is another south asian country so that is why this is important for us to know so government has amended the definition of hydrocarbons to include the shale now the uh, this amendment has basically taken place to include this shale in the definition of petroleum as well now uh, with this change the private companies will be allowed to explore and produce the resources in block which they already possess or they already operate so t uh, t you can read about shale gas here it's a natural gas it's colorless odorless and lighter than air and basically it is trapped within the shale formations so it's unconventional source of methane and uh, yes that would be all 19th anniversary of Kargil Vijay Devas has been observed on July 26. Now this uh, Vijay Devas is marking the success of the Operation Vijay which is related to the 99 India-Pakistan Kargil War. So India defeated Pakistan in this Kargil War and on July 26 every year this Vijay Devas is observed. Now Google has unveiled two new artificial intelligence chips. The names of these uh, two chips are HTPU and Cloud IoT Edge. So these are two important names for us to remember. Now in its conference which has taken place in San Francisco, Google has unveiled these two IO, uh, AI chips. Now you can read about these two chips more here. Its HTPU is a hardware chip and it's purpose-built application specific where IoT is related to the Internet of Things. So you can read about them more. That would be it from this particular news. Okay, now this is again important. Two Indians, that is Bharat Watwani and Sonam Wangchuk have been awarded the Raymond Magsaysay Award for 2018. Now, uh, Bharat Watwani is a psychiatrist who works for the mentally ill street persons, while Sonam Wangchuk works to harness the science and culture for the Ladakhi youth. So these are the two very important personality as well as this award which has been awarded to these two personalities. Okay, so West Bengal is in news again. West Bengal Assembly has passed a resolution to rename the state's name as Bangla. 
so uh, the name of the state will be in all three languages that is bengali hindi and english now what is important to note down here is that this particular change will be official only once it gets uh, it gets its approval from the union home ministry so this is important and secondly this news is important since uh, earlier bangla uh, name was uh, given in bengali and bengal in english as proposed by west bengal so now it has been changed and the name bangla in all three states has been proposed okay so world meteorological organization has designated india as the center to develop the model for the flash floods warning now this particular model will be called as the flash floods guidance system and this system is going to help the indian ocean countries that is vietnam sri lanka myanmar and thailand which are particularly vulnerable to the floods so imd under the ministry of sciences earth sciences will be responsible for the making of this particular model so mission satyanishtha okay now this is important since it is a very unique mission now it aims at building ethics in the public governance for the employees of the railways it has been released by indian railways and uh, all the railway employees would be sensitized so as to adhere to the good ethics so that is why this mission is important yes that would be all so international tiger day now this is again important since tiger is a very important uh, animal in our ecosystem the slogan for this year uh, this year is particularly their survival in our hands so the survival of the tigers is in our hands and this particular day of july 29 was designated at the 2010 st petersburg tiger summit so this particular tiger summit is also important so you need to know it has taken place in russia st petersburg in russia so this summit is also uh, also took place in russia okay so meghalaya milk mission launched in shillong now this milk mission has been sanctioned by the union ministry for agriculture and family welfare now this is basically to plug the demand and supply gap in the per capita milk availability in meghalaya now uh, particularly this availability is very much lower in meghalaya so that is why this mission has been launched in this particular state so you need to know about this milk mission which has been recently launched in meghalaya okay so our next news is related to the mobile open exchange zone the india's first such zone is going to be inaugurated at noida which is in uttar pradesh now noida is again in news after we have seen that samsung is going to build its first ever largest factory in noida so here this mox is basically a dedicated ecosystem for mobile industry which will be providing the platform for r&d and led industry so that is why it is in news here so up government has signed an mou related to this particular mobile exchange zone moving on okay so two indigenous tanks have been handed over to indian army now these tanks the name are very important that is v466 and v92s2 so these two tanks have been handed over and they were made under the make in india mission so uh, these are the first multi fuel engines and uh, they have been built by the ordinance factory board and they are based on the russian design so though, though they are built indigenously but the design is based on russia so uh, yes that would be all from this news okay so the next important news is here again now india is planning to procure advanced air defense system from us now this particular defense system is called national advanced surface to air missile system second which is india is going to procure from the united states now this is an upgraded version of already existing nasams which is under norway so now this particular system is going to feature 3d uh, mobile surveillance radars as well as 12 missile launchers for quick reaction so you can see the importance the missile launchers that is a multi missile launcher this is offering so this nasams 2 is important and india is going to procure it from which country okay so the last uh, news of this particular section says that government unveil unveils the blueprint of the deep ocean mission now see this deep ocean mission is very much important because with this mission india is planning to explore the deep ocean now it will include deep sea mining ocean climate change advisory service and other underwater vehicles and robotic technologies now this is particular in line 
with the success of ISRO in designing and launching satellites. So if India is doing so well in space technology, why can't we do such things in the underwater technology as well? So now center has drawn this five year plan with rupees 8000 crore plan to explore this deep ocean now this particular mission is under the union ministry of earth sciences and uh, yes this was all and secondly here i've mentioned for you guys that india's eez spreads over the 2.2 million square kilometer area and in the deep sea lies unexplored and unutilized potential so that is why india wants to reach to this uh, particular uh, part of the ocean so thank you guys that was all about the ga section news which have been covered for 10 days at ago now if you guys have any query please do visit our website that is www.edutab.co.in you can even drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutab.co.in or you can call us at 8146207241 so just note down the link of the telegram channel you'll be able to download all the content sheet of this particular series here and please do like subscribe and share the video thank you guys have a happy learning